All right, so in this video, uh, I'll just explain the concept of power. So what is power? Power is a quantity which measures the rate at which work is done, um, how fast work is done. Uh, you can have average power and instantaneous power. Average power is defined as the total amount of work done divided by the time it took to do that work. So if a certain agent, uh, let's say a car engine or, or anything, uh, does an amount of work delta W in the time delta T seconds, then the average power is delta W divided by delta T. So that is the definition of average power, right? Okay, so if so from this definition, it's clear that an engine that can do a lot of work in a less amount of time, to a certain amount of work in less amount of time has greater power than an engine that can do the same amount of work in a larger amount of time, right? Okay, now sometimes it's convenient to talk about the instantaneous power. So instantaneous power, as you can probably guess from the name, is the power at one particular instant of time, not over a large interval delta t, but at one particular instant of time. So how do we define the instantaneous power? It's just the same way uh, other instantaneous quantities are defined. So the p instantaneous power p would simply be delta w divided by delta t, but this time you just want the delta t to be very, very, very small and you want it to be as small an interval of possi as possible uh, at the moment of time that you're looking at. So you want this, you want to take the limit delta t tending to zero of delta w divided by delta t. So for example, if you're looking for the instantaneous power at, at time t equals five seconds, you want your delta t to be something incredibly small. So you want your delta t to be something like uh, from 5 seconds to 5.0001 seconds or something like that. So you want a very, very small, very tiny delta t at that instant that you're interested in. That is defined as the instantaneous power at that instant. And as you know, as we've discussed before, this is just the definition of a derivative. So it's dw dt. So power, instantaneous power is dw dt at that particular instant. Okay. All right. Um, what is the unit of power? So... Uh, Power is energy or work divided by time. Work is defined, uh, work is uh, measured in joules. Um, time is measured in seconds. So the unit of power is joules divided by seconds. And that is defined as a watt. So one watt is one joule divided by one second. So that the SI unit of power is a watt. Another common unit of power is the horsepower which was a unit of power a long time ago, but it's still stuck around. One horsepower is defined is, is 746 watts. So that's the conversion between watts and horsepower. So why do we have a strange name like horsepower? That is because when car engines were first invented um, and were first put into mass production, uh, car companies had to somehow convey to customers how strong the car engine could be. Now, the only mode of transport was horse-drawn carriages at that time. Uh, that was the state of the art. <laughs> so, uh, in order to convey to customers how powerful this mechanical engine could be, they had to come up with a unit that, which would make sense to, to the customers. So, they could say that this mechanical engine is as strong as five horses uh, or as strong as ten horses. So, that is that is where horsepower comes from. And the, the unit has... Uh, the the unit has still stuck around and so now it's just defined as 746 watts. All right, there's another useful relationship. Um, so it's this one, power is equal to F dot V and let me just show you how this comes about. So power is dW dt, the rate at which work is done, right? So we know that uh, you can write dW as we've seen before as F dot dr. So if the force is f at at a given instant, and it uh, and and you consider an infinitesimal displacement dr, so then the work done by the force f over an infinitesimal distance dr would be f dot dr. So I'm writing the dw as f dot dr, and it's divided by dt, and you can see that um, dr dt is what is dr dt. So I can write this as f dot dr dt 
Now, we know what DRDT is. We've, le we've seen this uh, in earlier chapters. DRDT is simply the velocity. The derivative of the position vector is simply the velocity vector. So we can write this as f dot v. And so this is a useful relationship. So power is equal to f dot v, or you can write that as the magnitude of the force multiplied by the magnitude of the velocity multiplied by cosine theta, uh, cosine of the angle between the force and the velocity vectors. So that's a useful expression for power. All right.